Power 5 One, home of the Breakfast Club, Angie Martinez, and Hip Hop and R&B. It's your main man, and this is the Sunday Sit Down. And this afternoon, sitting across from me, his name is Ronald Savage, correct? Yes. How are you doing this afternoon, sir? I'm good. Uh, if they don't know who you are, introduce yourself. Um, my name is Ronald Savage. Um, you know, they call me Beast Stinger. That's my nickname. That was the, the name that the Zulu Nation had um, given me. Okay, they gave you the nickname Beast Stinger. Yeah. Why? Back then, they were saying that I was trying to sting girls like a bee. <laughs> oh, got you, got you, got you. So now, what is what is the new, well, I don't want to say new because it's relatively old, but brought up now. So right. can you talk to me about that situation that's go, that you're going through with the whole Zulu Nation and Africa and Bottom? Mm -hmm. um, this happened um, probably like a few months ago. Um, you know, one day I was just sitting down um, in my room and just thinking back on just my whole life, you know, my experiences um, with my ex-wife, because we're, um, you know, we're divorced now, and, you know, I, I was telling myself that I just wish that um, things didn't happen to me when I was younger, um, because it definitely played um, a toll on um, on me growing up, especially being intimate. Now, what 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 do, what do you speak of when you say the, the experience that happened to you as a child? Um, when I was younger, um, I was down with the Zulu Nation with um, Africa Bambada. And um, one day, um, I was cutting class um, because I didn't want to get caught by Officer Williams. So I had um, Bambada's number, and I was like, well, let me call Bam, because that was the only person that I knew probably that was home. And um, he paid for the cab for me to go to his house, and um, I went to his house. That was the first time that I was at his house, you know, other than that, I usually seen Bam, you know, around my block or in the parties and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, I went into uh, went into his house and um, it looked like, because another dude was there, it looked like they was DJing, and Bam told me that I can go into his bedroom um, to watch TV because the TV was on. Um, so I went into the bedroom. I think I was in there maybe like three, four minutes. and. Bam told me um, to take my penis out. And how old were you at this time? Fifteen. Okay. So go ahead, finish. Show your story. Um, you know, he he was saying that he wanted me to masturbate. Um, at that time, I didn't know what he was talking about. I was like shocked. Like it was like I, I bugged out. Mm -hmm. Um. Then Bam showed me he showed me how to masturbate, he took it out. And then he took his out, and he started masturbating. Right in front of you? Right in front of me. And it was just you two in the room? It was just us two. Okay. And I, I remember at that time, I, I was kind of scared. I didn't know what to do, but it was like it was Bambada. And he was telling me that it's okay, because everybody masturbates. Okay, all right. That That's... Kind of a truth. I understand that one. That's true. And um, he left out the room. And the dude that was in the living room, he came out. He came into the room, and his penis was already out. And I remember getting scared, and I remember leaving that house, and I remember running. Um, and it was a lady. Um, she seen me crying and stuff, so she told me to get into the um, to her car. And um, she had drove me back to my school. And that was the first experience. Um, you say first, were there others? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Now, um, was it something you enjoyed? Um, not at all. Okay, now, how did your relationship change with the whole Zulu Nation after that first experience? Um, I don't know how Bam got me to um, be back around him. I remember, I do remember him saying that it wouldn't happen again. Mm. So you guys did have a conversation after the fact? Mm -hmm. How'd that go? I was young, I, don't, I, I, I believe it probably went good because um, I was around him again. Okay. And I remember being in his car and Bam started jerking off again. In front of you? in front of me. Okay. Um, he took out my penis, told me to take it out. 
and he told me to jerk in. I started jerking, and Bam went down on me. When you were 15? I was 15. That's crazy. And I remember being scared. I remember I didn't know what to do. Um, and then Bam told me to go down on him. At that time, I just wanted to be down with the Zulu Nation. Hmm. I wanted to hear it from him because I was already down, I was already hanging out with the Zulu Nation Council, but I never heard it from Ben. Um, when Ben finished jerking, I remember him coming in the tissue. I remember that clay that that would never leave my mind. Um, he asked me if I can go with him to my sister's boyfriend's house, who also was a member of the Zulu Nation. Mm. That's, that's, that's pretty powerful stuff. And, and he refutes all these, these allegations, correct? Um, publicly, yeah. What do you mean publicly? Do you speak? Do you, do you still have a relationship with African Mumbai? Um, I had spoken to Bam once I came out publicly. Um, they had called and put us into one of those conference conference room things on, on the phone mm -hmm. because they were always trying to get me to talk to Bam. And I remember Bam saying. Oh, come on. Oh, nothing happened. Nothing happened on the phone. Mm -hmm. And I hung up. Because all this time, I've been carrying all this weight, and I just wanted to ask him why. Mm -hmm. Why'd you wait so long to come, to, to come forward? Um, I'll say this. People always ask people what takes them so long to come forth when you're molested. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell somebody that your first sexual experience was with a man. Understand. Understood. Now you say you, you, you walk around with that weight. How has it re affected your relationships going forward? Um, growing up with females, with anybody, I just, I didn't like to be touched. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. if you, like, I, like if you were to touch me, I would move away because I just didn't like to be touched. Sexually, I would have to no, that you're touching me. You know, I have to be the one to initiate it. Growing up, I missed out on so much. I'm 50, and I've only held hands with a girl, I believe it was two times. If I say three, I'm stretching it. Right. And that all stems from the situation that happened with you and Ben Bada back in, back in the day. Yeah. Whew, it's the Sunday sit down. It's your main man, M. Easy. It's a little, it's a little heavy this afternoon, but it's a conversation that needs to be had. Now, would you, would you call yourself a gay man? Nah, I'm far from that. Why? Why would you not say that? The only experience I had like that is when I was a young kid, fifteen. It's never happened again. So you've had girlfriends and my whole entire life. Gotcha. Now, was this something you held in and didn't tell anybody at all? Did were there friends that knew? Um when I was in high school, I had a best friend. That was DJ Jazzy J. Jazzy J's um Jazzy J is Ben Bada's DJ. Mm. Jazzy's little brother, little Jazzy J. He was the first person I told. Really? So and, he knows the story? Yeah, and he held that in all that time. 
also because I asked them to keep that secret. This is crazy. It's the, it's the Sunday sit down. It's your main man, M. Easy. Um, how do you feel about them refuting your 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 claims to that to this happening to you? Um, I say this in the beginning when I finally was able to talk about it freely, publicly. You gotta ask yourself, why did it take so long for the Zulu Nation to come out with a statement? See, that was my next question because now after they they, Let they me refuted you. Let me finish. Go ahead. You gotta ask yourself that. Because behind the scenes, they were trying to get me to retract my story. They were trying to get me to take money. Mm. When I refused all the offers, that's when they came out with that nonsense. Oh. Funny business going on over there, huh? It's crazy. Ronald, Sa Ronald Savage is in the building. Um, so how do you feel about other people coming forward now? Um, I'm happy that they are coming out and speaking their truths. And they all say that I gave them the encouragement to go ahead and come and come forth um, with it. People don't know, and this is for the new generation of hip hop, because I'm from the first generation of hip hop, from the very beginning. This has been the biggest kept secret from hip hop, from the beginning of hip hop culture. Wow. So, when you say that, do you mean it? It it stems farther than the Zulu Nation. There was other crews and record labels doing these kind of initiations. I can only speak for the founding father of hip hop, Africa Bambada. <laughs> I like it, it. It it baffles me to think about. The, the history of hip hop was, was birthed on that. And that's another thing, I, you know, and I'm glad that I'm here because I had seen on The Breakfast Club before when it was being talked about. Mm -hmm. And then it was a statement made that I really didn't appreciate because it was said something to the fact that this wasn't for your listeners, because the li listeners are young. This is totally for the listeners of hip hop at that age. Because this is something in the black community that they don't talk about. And people being molested every day. And for me to come out and put this on Front Street, I think it needs to be respected and talked about. Well, let's start the conversation. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you. And uh, thank you for really being honest about yeah. the whole situation. Because like you said, this is a conversation that needs to be had in hip-hop. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you for coming by. Ronald Savage. It's a Sunday sit-down. Um, tell them how they can get in contact with you if you've got an email or Instagram or everything, anything else like that. Um, I have a website, um, which is uh, www.ronaldsavage.com. Um, from there, they can go to my Facebook page and, you know, everything else. Everything else. Um, to learn about me, about me, you know, because I used to manage Showbiz and AG, Dougie Fresh, um, Snap. You know, they can learn okay. the whole history. All right. Definitely. Ronald Savage, th again, thank you for coming by. Sunday Another example of how easy does it. Easy.